Welcome. Thank Welcome you. Welcome tonight. How does it feel to receive the Variety Artisan Award? Fantastic. You know, I'm really happy and proud and it came as a surprise. I didn't know there was even such an award, right? I mean, I think it's pretty new. So um, I'm thrilled. Are you kidding? It's exciting. Anytime you get um, honored for doing something that you love, <laughs> like a project like this, it's, it's great. So. How did the classic musicals inspire you to create these costumes? They were very inspirational for these films, like or for our film. Uh, we looked at the obvious choices, Singing in the Rain and Bandwagon, and we all lo also looked at two of, three of Jacques Demy's films, The Young Girls of Rochefort and Umbrellas of Cherbourg, and a film called Lola, which is black and white, but it was really more for the romance of the film. And But it, we also looked at a lot of other dance numbers, and I mean, I looked at a lot of MGM musicals. I had done Hail Caesar four months before I did La La Land, and so I had researched and watched many, many musicals by MGM because we were, you know, researching and prepping for that film. So the research and work for that film definitely came in handy. So, and when we started, when Damien, our director, started referencing all these films, I, I had them on the tip of my tongue because I had just watched them. So they were really helpful, but they weren't, you know, we tried to use them as sort of a guidepost, but not as a, we weren't trying to duplicate them. We still wanted it to feel contemporary and fresh and, you know, for a new audience and a young audience, some of whom have never seen those old musicals. So that's what we were going for. It was like a combination of two different worlds. Now you had worked with Emma Stone before. Right. So did that help you in creating Mia's look? It helped me in thinking about it, like, because I know her body and I know her silhouette and I know what looks good on her. But I also, you know, we design, I designed everything that she danced in. And so a lot of it was trying to keep in mind what you needed for a dance number. And there's an emotional arc to the film and there's a progression of sort of the volume of her dresses. And, but you also, you know, we grounded the film in reality. It was very important not to make it too much of a fantasy. So I didn't want her dresses to be too couture, you know, even though they're made for her and they fit her perfectly, there should be an element for the audience to say, I want that dress, not just because it's spectacular, just like it's just perfect for her and I want one that's perfect for me. And I think that's what we were, you know, serving the script, which was about a girl who wants to be an actress, who's not a successful actress. and so. You can't, you know what I mean? Like you want to make it look like it's believable that she could afford such a dress or that she could have found it in a vintage clothing store or something like that. So, yeah, but having worked with Emma was definitely helpful. I mean, we had a very condensed prep. Seven weeks to prep, eight weeks to shoot, and we made everything. So it was like no time to do anything. And so having that shorthand of like, doing a sketch and like, no, okay, this neckline's gonna look good, this is gonna look good. I know she has beautiful arms, a beautiful neck, great back. We need a skirt that can circle, you know. Well, she looks she, incredible, sorry. absolutely. Yeah, she looks she looked, great. Look, I mean, but it's not hard to make her look great. Well, she's got the right frame, I mean, she really is. And she's a, a beautiful person inside, I don't want to sound corny, mm -hmm. but when you're that beautiful inside and outside, it's kind of, it is a little bit, you know, easier for the costume designer to make her look beautiful. Well, your but work I had worked. Incredible. Thank you. So I had incredible. worked with Ryan too, who also has a really nice physique, and they both look great in clothes, which helped me a lot. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. And congratulations on tonight. Thank you.